Ball Holly. Ball Holly. Ball Holly. Y'all might want to look at that. Yeah, y'all might want to look at that. Yeah, y'all might want to look at that. Man, y'all might want to look at that. Surprise. I, 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 if you play Zol, you play Taros. That's facts. I mean. <laughs> Taro, like, if we're talking man, about what's look better right now, you're looking at him. Right? All right, man, we're going to watch the, the black console leagues. On Demon Island. I remember when Demon Island's background was a little bit darker, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> like, that used to be meta. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's no, a, a lot easier to see the character now compared to the, the background. But we got Costlix now. Oh, odd the axe opening up. Doing pretty well. And Macho Man, I, for Costlix, originally I felt like was a twos pick that just became a really solid ones pick in general. He's become really, really great with that signature kit. And Axe kind of functions similar for him in the sense of how he likes to be able to use those side airs. So just great. Right, Great play from Costlix all around. This that damn lance in his hand. Literally nothing. That cider connecting is just the beginning of him getting some damage onto Cosmo. And no, uh, when you were mentioning earlier that like, you know, how good Cosmo's performs may like be directly tied to like the balance <laughs> patches. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there is some truth to that because I mean, Rocket Lance to speak to what the most recent changes were, it now has kind of like that fixed side light there yeah. that you can always go for at any percent. Right? Well, oh, man, y'all might want to look at it. Like a huge. Uh, yeah, you really might, might want to look at it. Kit when it comes to just playing neutral in general. So just having that feel, just a little bit more comfortable like that. As we yep. just saw oh. that satellite down here. Look at how much. And Costlix was already so good at problem solving any follow up off of his weapon where it wasn't true and figuring out how to make mm -hmm. it as optimal as possible. So just having a little bit of extra is really yeah. paying off here. Stingray. <laughs> I got three ads in five, five minutes. <laughs> Costlix is nice. just now in red on his first stock. Yeah, I mean we were talking about before how like Stingray has like the head to head pretty handily, but now Costlix is looking like a brand new man man he's rocking this macho man he's kicking tail and not only that i remember he learned axe specifically because it had been in meta for so long before yeah. his axe used to be crusty there was no other way to say it like it was not good yeah. but now it's like <laughs> guess what guys so yeah, the macho man was absolutely a stat pick that had yeah. a lance on it originally and it, it was it, it was very similar to to how Sandstorm picked up Zol, but with, with Costlix here now, you're right, he's doing really great on the Axe. I'd say the damage is almost split 50-50 mm -hmm. on how much he's done with Stingray so far, and that neutral on the Axe secures an entire stock lead here in game one. And I, what, see like what screen? Point, I actually think, like, oh. I, I feel like we've seen more Axe from Costlix in this game. Than <laughs> I'm Costlix broke! Now he's opted to pick for it. We're going to see if he's able to get that damage build up. Because Weapon I'm Star Wolix. Right, he's gotten quite a few neutral sigs on Ogrim, which, hey, yo, it, it, it hits pretty hard. Oh man, but Stingray really fighting back strong here on this uh, last stock of his. Cider hits. Weapon throw goes up, picks up another lance. It's Prime, so it means Axe is coming up next. Goes for the weapon throw down air, but he misses the down air. Can't get the experience tweeted stock. again. It means that Stingray has obliterated the lead that Costlix worked so hard to have. Yeah, that happened in an instant, man. I'm looking, I'm like, wow, <laughs> like that was, was so stock. quick. It was a full stock. And, and, and oddly enough, Experience said, I cut my thigh, my controller is in shambles, and my knuckles are bleeding. I just can't beat that guy. I don't know if his skill or character is weapon, but I just can't do it. GG. That's fine. That's basically an axe there. <laughs> at the, at the end of the right there. I think I think if we look at the damage dealt at the end, it's going to be in favor of the axe. And that's that makes Costlix incredibly terrifying because it's not like his prowess on the lance has disappeared because he got good at another weapon. <laughs> right? So it's like it's like oh no, we have to worry about this. Uh, and it's interesting. Stingray. And experience. Oh, oh, man. Both might want to look at it. They're very, very good at Demon Island. Demon Island is their mammoth fortress, per se, if we're mm -hmm. looking at uh, how players love that stage throughout Brawl Esports history. Costlix, one of the first veteran players that I really feel like made Demon Island his home. I used to talk about this all the time whenever I watched him play. Don't take Costlix to Demon Island. He's so good with I feel like it was made for him. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and now it's like, well, the players that have that stage is a comfort Three, pick. Two, it, it's kind of it's kind of a dilemma because you want to go here, but at the same time, Costa's like this is where I'm most comfortable too. So we'll see how this shakes up because Stingway did bring it back pretty well against Costlix in game one, but Costlix still won pretty handily. Because like you can't forget the like most famous clip of Costlix and Twos just dash dancing on Twilight Grove, right? Costlix yep. doesn't like to jump. Right, so if you yes. give him a stage where it's like, oh, yo, like this or Brawl Haven, where there is just no platforms, you're forced to play his neutral game the entire time. Yeah. So he's more than happy to take and, Sting right here every time. And to clarify, oh. 
when you say dash dancing, we, we literally mean he's, he's, he's <laughs> dead. That was such a great side but he's, he's literally the only player that does this dash forward, dash back. When you pop it out style. of and your cup like Mario players, pops out the pipes. It's kind of icing people out where they'll, they'll huh? run for him without pressing the dash button and save dash for a reaction. But Koslex, his whole entire neutral game revolves around this. So we're seeing it right there. We saw a dash forward, <laughs> dash back neutral light. He catches Stingray with this a lot. And just look out for a little bit more. And as you said, I love this point. It's because there's no platforms, you you have to be playing the game that Costas is playing. On this he's trying to catch landings. Oh, you know, that's what it's all about. Dude, Beautiful down stick from Stigray there to go ahead and catch that first stock. And we're going to see how he's able to answer back to Costas. Because I feel like Costas has been dictating the pace of this set so far in very convincing fashion. And if there's anything I know about Costas, I watch his YouTube videos all the time. He's always talking about how he trains his reactions, right? Ooh. Like, he's not really a player that loves to go for the read. He likes to go for a setup, see where you're going to dodge, and he tries to react. We've been seeing that in full effect here with some of these setups. Yeah, on the lance, trying to go for the nares now, staying a little bit more airborne, but there he was, staying on the ground, Stingray staying nice. above. He's been getting, that's the second successful down stick that we've seen from Stingray so far. The last one knocked out, this one brought him back to even damage. Costlick's over on the axe. Oh, uh, on my badge, I'm reading Twitter. Everybody, everybody's saying what I've been saying. Oh, he's teleporting. Oh, I've been saying this forever, guys. There's certain people that we play, man. They teleport when they move. Ain't really too much I can say to do about it. I think for the past two, to be real, nigga. I think he was able to get him off like a down air. He'd do like a down air and go for the down Like, I said this shit before. Now, now Dark Ghoul is right. I went from a liar to... Up on Stingray. Stingray finally makes it down to the ground, but he went from white to orange off of that. Costlix did something that blew my mind. Actually, I'm going to delete my tweet. Actually, I'm gonna delete my tweet, right? <laughs> you hit him four times. I've never seen a, a dodge in punish off of Lance down. Like, usually they just try to go for neutral light afterwards That's or something facts. like that. I'm gonna delete my tweet. Watch this. Crazy. got so much damage on this. I'm gonna go back to staying right at Twitter. It's just the Beautiful. game, and that's nearly a JV. It, it, it's it's pretty dark. He's been up 200 damage. Wait, look at that. This is what. Costlex, I, okay. What is Stingray going to do? I, is it Legend or Stage, or does he just try again with the Taros? I mean, I feel like Taros is a fine pick, but I also feel like he's getting that. beat, oh. like, handily when it comes to the Axe Ditto. And that's something that, like, that's no weird. Legend pick is going to, to fix for you unless yeah. you just swap to a different weapon. If Cossacks is just straight up beating you in neutral, he's beating you in neutral, you know what I mean? And the mm -hmm. thing is, like, Stingray did catch on to some things. Like, Cossacks oh. is a kind of player we mentioned that likes to stay grounded, and when you're a player that's like that, you develop develop a habit when you get there you go you new tweet new tweet new tweet towards the ground but you know we saw two down six come out of that Cossack was like oh crap I'm doing the thing again let me not and then was able to just make the adjustments yep. and win from there yep yep Cossack's adjusted much faster than Stingray did and that's put him into a position now um where he's up 2-0 oh my god leave Wow, look at that. I mean, Costlix, I mean, I was saying he was getting beaten in the accident, but you're looking at that. <laughs> like that. I guess I'm right. This, you got me. I'm so hungry. Do so I got you? I didn't you? realize it was that. Yo, you want some McDonald's? What? cleaned him up so fast. Oh, my goodness. I know, it was bad. <laughs> I swear he got one knockout with Axe. I, think yeah. it was like an accident. I was just about to post it. You beat me to it. Two moves that he hit that yep. game. <laughs> that was... Okay, Sting. Am I, am I looking at this right? Is that Hattori? Is that, is that Stingray the Hattori? Okay, Spirit, Spirit. Okay, he wants that movement speed going up against Costlix here on Demon Island, the game number three. Let's go, Costlix on the Lance going against Stingray's Hattori. This is what I'm talking about, right? I mean, add this to the 20 or so legends that Stingray's played competitively. I mean, maybe he's done in the past, but uh, here we go, Costlix. Everybody thought I was, everybody thought I was fucking capping. I mean, Spears, move out the way. We don't see often anymore. Hey, everybody thought I was lying about the teleporting and shit. Now it happens. Right. Uh. Okay, we see Hattori having. Seen her yet I've been saying this shit forever, bro. Niggas don't listen. Niggas just don't listen. Nobody listens to me. It's crazy. Flogging failed to complete. But the spear makes the most sense to me. As we say time and time again, he uh, first made his appearance in the Black Knight. Lance and Spear. So it's coming through here with a lot of experience on it. Side light into Nair. It's insane, bro. He takes the first lead that he's taken all set. Let's see if he can keep it because Costlix is really going for nice. that. Whoa, that's so cool. Side air. Bro, no, it's like when you have a poor connection on Brahalla, you do teleport. Stage, so he was able to cover the entire wall of Demon Island. Another reason why I feel like Costlix I mean, you never really tweeted specifically about packet loss, so I just, I guess people on Twitter got confused. No, but I described it in the video. I don't know. I don't know and it's and I, I explain like what the fuck I did. Packet loss versus lag, whatever, same shit. They ain't confused. The niggas just don't want to listen to me, bro. I've been saying this shit for months, months, bro. With a Z at the end, months. 
do be like that sometimes. <laughs> I'm just saying this shit, bro. Koslik's put Stingray to the side. Oh, Stingray's sweating. He's got to be careful about this landing. He lands with the down air, does touch the stage. Koslik stares off the side of the stage. The side lands to pick up. Good punish. First stock could go either way. I feel like Koslik's going to be looking. Oh, now he's on the axe. It's a little bit different. Landing one solid side air here could be pretty good. Side air and a weapon throw. Pick up the lance. Get the Nigga, you think motherfuckers know what a pack it is? Like, what's they act like they do. Joe, they keep on talking about what they're doing. So. Nice. No, 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 no. That's actually so backwards. The mango. Right? You're gonna go high. I think you're scared of me. And one thing, like I thought we might see the. No, no, no. I retweeted something new, man. Uh, look, look at my new tweet. My thing is this, bro. Yo, Joe. This is this is this is the problem, bro. Niggas, I was telling them about this, but they were talking to me as if they knew what the fuck they were talking about. And then when they were talking about it, it sounded stupid as fuck. And I'm sitting here like, you can literally see some of these people. They run special K and lag like that. That shit is unfair as fuck. It's so great as a spear player to see that. Uh, just being able to get two side lights. Spearman. Side lights, side, lights, side from Koslik. I'm disappointed oh, in this thing, right? Oh, Losing to Koslik. Okay, and Koslik's just backing up to the corner a little bit. Stays on the ground, right? What? Doesn't jump. Dashes well, Chung, as you know. And it, it's going to cost him only a little bit. He has superior position. All the South American boys say teleport. So here's the thing, bro. No when, right it's your fault, thanks. Uh, when, you, when you talk about... Oh. When you talk about teleporting... It's different types of teleporters. Some people in South America, like, they teleport because their connection to the server, wherever it is, is, is poor. Poor connection. Some people teleport because they're on Wi-Fi. Some people teleport. Like, come on, bro. It's different type. When you say lag, that's a generic word. You got to be specific. Do I need to make a twit learner and, like, explain this shit? You're dead. He's dead. You're an idiot. Why is this nigga moaning? Gets hit by Kosselik's recovery. He's still alive. There's so many attacks. How does he dodge them all? I can't believe Kosselik's came. I don't know what to say. And it got that ridiculous edge guard. And I say ridiculous in the sense that Stingray, like, technically made it back three times during it. But it never felt like it was truly over. What a crit. Look, that was checkmate. That was a really awesome start. I have not really, like, seen that and looking at that right now that looks so perfect for the stage side light uh, ground pounds oh man does he say oh this is where he just gets the stare that was it's amazing because I, I was thinking a lot of players myself included would have just thought okay got the first stare get the weapon throw go back pick up a new weapon that's not what he does there gets the recovery picks up the land anyways um uh, 